Hi, this is a video for IT112. It's for Assignment 1 Setup. A uh, couple of things that I want to show you. Let's make the thing a little bigger. Alright, so this is Assignment 1. We're going to do the setup. This video will take you there. There is a uh, blog on how to do this, and it has some um, an escape for how to set up the GitHub repository. And it has an alternate way to set up the database, which is actually the next assignment. So this first one, installation and setup, goes through the first two assignments. I'm actually going to do this a little bit differently than what the blog suggests. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is set up a uh, GitHub repository. You can have a GitHub account for free. You should sign up for it. You can get uh, as many, um, as long as they're public, you can have as many repositories as you want. If you've never encountered GitHub, it is basically a way to store code and share it. Um, so what I am going to do, first of all, is, and the other thing you should know is that I've already installed Postgres SQL, PG Admin, Python. I haven't installed Django yet. I'll do that in a moment. But and uh, Visual Studio Code. Those are all installed. All right. So I am going to create a new repository. You can do it up here, or you can do the other thing. So I'm going to do a new repository. I'm going to call it um, Tech Review. Winter 2020. A couple of things about, uh, and I'm going to initial it with a README file. So I want to emphasize that Tech Review is a sample. It is, I'll give it in the description, sample um, Django project for IT112. The assignment is actually Python Club. This is purely for the sample. So I'm going to create the repository. OK, and it has a readme. So now I have a repository. And what I want to do is have all of your code uploaded to this. And then you turn in. What you turn in to me is just the link to your repository. And I can look at your code, and I can see what's going on. This works really well for the assignments. Just turn in the link, and I'll show you how to do that uh, in a moment. OK, so we've got this. Now I'm going to launch Visual Studio Code. And again, this is free. It'll run on any platform. So I've. Uh, done this and you may have to install git and that's also something I've already done um, so when I do git it, I need to open a thing so it, one of the things that I can do is I can clone a repository and for the repository that I'm going to clone uh, this is it right so I'm going to do a control copy it control C and I come back here, and I'm going to paste that right there. Uh, and then it says to clone. And I'm going to clone from URL. And it asks me where I want to put it. Um, I haven't created the folder yet. So let's go to Documents. And in Documents, I'm going to do a new folder. And I'm going to call it uh, Django Projects. Okay. So then I'm going to click in here, and I'm going to select this as the lo location. So you might have some other things that happen. You might have to give your password for uh, GitHub. Uh, there's some other things that might happen. This I've already done some of those, so it is ready so I have basically tech review 2020 in readme MD uh, that's all that's in here so I am going to now install Django okay so 
I am going to go to the command line. I guess we could leave that up, but I want the command line. All right, and I'm going to do CD documents um, Django projects. It should take me there. So the first thing I need to do is to install the virtual environment. Django runs in a virtual environment. It has to be there. So I can do, um, I think it's a pip or Python. I'm trying to remember the exact command. It's Python dash M. VENV, -E virtual environment. I'm going to name my virtual environment ENV01. And I'm going to run that. And it takes a moment, but not a long time. If I do a directory now, you'll see that there is a ENV, a virtual environment. And it's there's also the tech review. So uh, one of the things we need to do now is we need to activate the virtual environment. So I'm going to say ENV01. Now this is Windows. This is a little different on a Mac. Um, scripts activate. And you can see that it worked because I had the ENV01 there. Um, I'm going to type what it would be on a Mac. And then I'm going to um, not do that, but that's what it would be on the Mac. It would be source env01 bin activate. All right, so I'm going to change to my tech review project, tech review. Uh, W20, 2020, okay, and I am going to install, start a project, so I am going to do the Django, actually let's maximize this so that it's easier, Django admin, start project and I want to start the project um, I'm going to call it I'm just going to call it tech review now I want to see one thing here I'm going to do a dot. I haven't tried it this way before, but let's do it. So let's look at that again. I may have to um, Django admin. Start project. Oh, you know why Django admin isn't here? I know why this isn't working. The other thing I have to do is I have to install Django. I haven't done that yet. I got ahead of myself. <coughs> 
So once the Django is installed, then I can do what I was doing. So pip install Django installs the most current version of Django. And it can take a minute. Alright, now warns me my pip is out of date, which I do not need to really worry about, but I will just real quickly say python dash m pip install upgrade pip. Okay, so now I have an active pip. Okay, so now we can go back to where I was. I can do a cd um, tech review winter 2020. And now I should be able to do Django admin start project, one word, uh, tech review, I'm going to do a dot. And I think that's going to work because it hasn't thrown back errors yet. Okay, if I do a quick directory, you'll see that there is a tech review project. So I'm going to do cd tech review And um, there should be, I'm going to do a directory, there should be a manage pi in here. Uh, actually, let me go back, cd, and do a directory there. And manage pi is there. So that's okay. So we're going to do um, python manage pi start app and we'll call the app tech so tech review and the app will be called tech and if I do a directory now we've got tech and tech review all right I'm going to close this I'm going to go back here and notice that the the things are there. Okay, so the last thing we want to do for this assignment is to upload these. So we need to um, go through, I'm going to click on this, and this will basically work things that we can stage for a change. I don't necessarily want need to stage manage pi, although it probably doesn't matter. Uh, we do want admin do want apps. We will want model. Actually, let's do apps too. I'm not sure why that didn't go. We will want tests. We will want views. Down here, uh, we will want settings and URLs. And it probably wouldn't hurt to have that. Don't think we need most of these others. Okay, so these are staged, and now um, I am going to commit, and I have to give it a message. So I'm going to say first setup commit. You could also say something like assignment one commit. All right, now what I want to do is I want to push these up to the GitHub. Okay, so if I go back and I look at the GitHub, and if I refresh this page, notice it has tech and it has tech review, and it has all of those folders in it, and 
uh, in Tech Review, it has those. It has all of those files in it. So it's uploaded everything. And if you look at them, it has all the code in there too. We will be adjusting this code in the next one. So everything worked. And that will be the end of video one. So. Hopefully it all works for you. Couple of quick uh, notes. If things go terribly wrong, it's a lot easier to delete everything and start over than it is to try to fix it sometimes. Just saying. So uh, I am going to stop the recording.